In the end of the year for eighth grade geometry, we do a lot of open-ended projects where the kids have some chance just to explore other areas of applications of mathematics, sometimes a little on the unusual side. For example, for example I have a group of boys that are working on using They've, worked, they've already built an air cannon and looked at how a, how a compressed air cannon works. Now what they want to do is they want to study how does the nose cone or the design of the nose cone affect flight, both flight time, flight accuracy, and, and as, as well as efficiency. Like for instance, can they get more efficient spins with different types of nose cones? Can they get nose cones that are more effective for doing one thing versus another thing? So they're in the process of building and designing several different kinds of nose cones to put on the end of a quote unquote body, which would the, can, the, can then be aimed at any particular targets or a particular range. Next year, when we've got the open maker space, these kinds of projects where we have these open-ended explorations in mathematics will naturally be done in a maker space, where A, you have a better selection of tools and better storage for equipment to avoid accidents as well as to, I mean, be more logical about how you lay things out. With the addition of power tools and that sort of thing, we can get much more, much, per, much more precision and much more consistency of construction. So with a maker space, it'd be much more exciting to move these projects over there so we've got exactly the right equipment, exactly the right space, and exactly the right storage to really be successful.